نوصل لاخر فقره من اخر موضه من صغره عشق انطونيو غريمالدي الموضه والازياء وكان كل اهتمامه رايح صوب الاعمال اليدويه والفنيه فامضى معظم طفولته بجنوب ايطاليا عم يتعلم الخياطه عاشوا للسفر خلاه يحمل من كل بلد قصة أو مشهد ويجسدن بمجموعاته اللي بيطغى عليها الطابع الهندسي والمعماري بتصميمه هو بعيد عن العجقة وبميل إلى البساطة والرقي أنا وعلي التقينا أنطونيو غريمالدي ببريز على هامش عرضه ودارها الحديث International Italian designer Antonio Grimaldi, welcome on Echen Muda. What can you tell us uh, about the SS19 collection for this season? We have uh, opposite colors. We have a uh, very light color like uh, white and uh, baby yellow and cream pastel. and pastel. And but in the opposite, we have a dark brown, very strong instead of black. We did uh, brown. And this rosa shocking, uh, so shocking pink. Like a little bit of fuchsia, but and fuchsia, yes, with the lilac and uh, so the strong, uh, aggressive color and uh, light color together. Tell me more about the technique that you used. Yeah, this is the real culture. I mean, uh, there are these uh, strong crepe silk with uh, double gazar, gazar is strong organza, so to, to give the volume. So and then we have this uh, uh, shape, but it's very, all the dresses are very light, they are not uh, tough. And also the inside we have like a trade metal to keep the shape of uh, everything. Who is uh, um, the woman of uh, Grimaldi? I like uh, women very, uh, with femininity. I mean, I don't like sexy. I think maybe sexy for me is too strong. I like uh, sensuality. I mean, you can, uh, a woman can be naked, but it's uh, with the elegance, with yes. the, like uh, you find uh, uh, all the picture in a, in a church, for example, that you see image with, the, you can see the body, but it's never, uh, the attitude is completely different. It's not uh, sex in that way, but with sensuality. So I like this kind of woman, yes. and the majority of uh, my clients, are this, they like femininity, but they like to be elegant. In your last collection, we saw a Saudi model, Talida. What can you tell us about uh, the Saudi woman, in particular about your clientele, the Saudi clientele? Uh, is she difficult to please? Um, I'm in love with all the... Uh, people from the Middle East, I mean, uh, especially the new generation, like Talida and uh, this kind of girl, yes. they know fashion very well. They follow the fashion. They know everything about the red carpet, all the stars, how to wear it, the jewelry, and what is fashion. Sometimes I learn from them. When I meet my uh, personal, my personal with the, my personal meeting with the clients, yes. uh, so because that's couture, I mean, to, to meet each other and, and talk about the idea of the dress that she would like to wear. Yes, the Arabic woman likes yeah. uh, the whole Yes. Uh, always I learn something from them. And for me, it's, uh, uh, it's very important to understand what they think about themselves, uh, uh, what they want from this dress. Since you come from the south of Italy, what's the difference between the Italian woman and the Parisian woman? Yeah, actually Italian and French uh, are very similar. They are very uh, elegant, chic and uh, natural. Uh, so we have many things in common. And uh, the Italians, they, um, b uh, they always be careful of what they are wearing. For example, for, for the Italians, is, uh, they never uh, wear something that uh, 
is not made to be at, at that time. I mean, uh, oh, okay. we wear things for the morning, for the afternoon, for evening. Yeah. In Paris it's different. I mean, you can see even here in the fashion show, uh, people uh, wear the feathers or paillettes yes, or strong yeah, things yeah. even in the morning yes. because they, they like to wear with a, in a funny way, I mean, to enjoy. And yeah. uh, uh, for an Italian, we are more rules. Uh, the, this is for evening, I cannot wear in the morning or I cannot wear in the... Which, so which they were, do you prefer? Which woman do you prefer? Are you crazy uh, or you're classic? Uh, I prefer more crazy way. I mean, I, I, mean, I agree with the... Uh, I mean, the, it depends on the way that you wear it. If you wear it with uh, a funny way, it's something that you feel comfortable with. You can even wear feathers in the morning. Why not? Because you are beautiful. If you don't feel it, that is not nice. Yes, that's it. What was your inspiration for this collection? This collection is about love. Love between... Uh, uh, Teseo and Arianna, you know the, this uh, uh, antique uh, meet Greek that uh, they fell in love with each other. Actually, it's Arianna that saved Teseo from the labyrinth. labyrinth so the idea yes. of the labyrinth, yes. uh, you know, and uh, this labyrinth, uh, the graphic of the the graphic of the labyrinth. I put in my, the design of my embroidery and even some shape of the dress. Now we will go with Ali Jafar to talk more about your lifestyle and how you work with love. Elak Ali. Ciao Antonio. Ciao Ali, come stai? <laughs> bene, tutto bene. Where do you find yourself in Rome or Paris and why? I feel um, more Paris here. I would like to live in Paris, but you know, we have, we have our team and our atelier there. Uh, for me, uh, my, uh, my team is like my family and I can live without them, so that's why I'm in Rome. Is there a plan for ready to wear uh, in the near future? I really would like to do ready to wear. I did in my past, uh, but I organized everything in my atelier, and that is uh, something that uh, uh, is impossible because we are couturiers. So I really would like to find a business partner that take care of this. So I can do ready to wear, but we need uh, a good organizer. Did you stop using the real fur, same as the other fashion houses? I don't think so. I mean. Uh, um, I like feathers and I think that, you know, we use uh, many animals even for uh, food. So I, I don't think that we are doing something worse. And uh, I really like to use uh, the feathers that I always use in my show. <laughs> Do you think Italian designers are better or stronger in haute couture? Uh, we are uh, better Italian designers, we are better, uh, the majority of us, for ready to wear. There are not so much couturiers uh, like uh, French. Uh, for example, in Italy we have Valentino, Armani, and uh, of course, uh, Giamatti Savalli that is Italian, and me. We don't have so many uh, whole couturier designers. Even if in Rome, I mean, we have the, the culture of, uh, that's why I live in Rome, the culture of the haute couture, uh, because there are uh, many people that used to do couture for uh, a very long time, the people that work uh, in my team. Where do you like your dresses? On the red carpet or the catwalk? Uh, I like on the catwalk because when I start dreaming what I want to say, uh, for me, the fashion show finished when I see, I watch the video of my show. So it's like that you are telling, uh, writing something and you see the movie. But of course, to see the red carpet is wonderful. Uh, there are so many styles that I would like to dress up, so. Who is the most elegant woman? I like Kate Blanchett, uh, Trilda Swimson, this kind of woman that are elegant and uh, feminine, but is, they are not uh, too much. I mean, I like the, the kind of, of woman that uh, they feel good with them uh, body. Which color represents your personality and why? I love the yellow. I don't know why. I think it's something that uh, it's lighty. 
is that give happiness and uh, since I was a teenager my, my color is yellow. Antonio you like the yellow and the sun uh, sunshine because maybe you are from the south of uh, Italy. Thank you Antonio and see you soon. Thank you, see you soon. Grazie, grazie mille.